Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing well. I am Shruti Banerjee. Today, I am going to discuss the part 2 of top 5 interview question from the topic SQL, that is structured query language. These questions are frequently being asked by the top companies during the interview. So, let's begin. Question 1. What are constraints? Constraints in SQL are used to specify the limit on the data type of the table. It can be specified while creating or altering the data table statement. The types of constraints are not null constraint, check constraint, unique constraint, primary key constraint, foreign key constraint and default constraint. So in other words, we can say SQL constraints can be at a column or a table label. Column label constraints apply to specific columns in a table and do not specify a column name except the check constraints. That is, they refer to the column that they follow. The names are specified by the table label constraints of the column to which they apply. This is all about the constraint. Moving to the next question. Question 2. What is a database? The term database is quite known to most of us. Now, database is nothing but an organized form of data for easy access, storing, retrieval and managing of data. This is also known as a structured form of data which can be accessed in many ways. So, in other words, we can say a database is an organized collection of structured information or data typically stored electronically in a computer system. A database is usually controlled by the database management system that is DBMS. Example of database are school management database and bank management database. Moving to the third question. Question 3. What are entities and relationships? An entity can be a real world object with an existence. It can be either tangible or intangible that can be easily identified. In the diagram, it is given a college database in which students, professors, workers, departments and projects can be referred to as entities. Each entity has some associated properties that provide it an identity. Now coming to the relationship. Relations or links between entities have something to do with each other is known as relationships. In the same diagram, we can see the professor can belong to the mathematics department, can belong to the physics department and can belong to the management department. That means the professor and the respective department have got a relationship between each other. We can consider another example like a company database in which the employees table in a company database can be associated with the salary table in the same database. Moving to the fourth question. List the different types of relationship in a SQL. Now, there are three types of relationship in a SQL, namely one to one, one to many and many to many. Starting one by one. Firstly, one to one. The one to one relationship can be defined as the relationship between the tables in which each record in a table is associated with the maximum of one record in another table. Here are two tables of author and books in which a particular author is associated with a particular book in the another table. Coming to the next one, one to many. This type of relationship is something where a record in a table is associated with multiple records in another table. Here also we have got two tables, author and book. And a particular author is associated with more than one record in the books table. Moving to the last one, 
many to many. This type of relationship is used when multiple instances on both sides are needed for defining a relationship. In the example, we consider again two tables, author and books, and they have got many to many relationships between them. Moving to the fifth and the last question, what do you mean by DBMS? What are its different types? Now, DBMS stands for Database Management System and it is an application software that interacts with the users, applications and the database itself to capture and analyze data. We can also say a DBMS manages incoming data, organizes it and provides way for the data to be modified or extracted by the users or other programs. Remember, a database is always a structured collection of data. Now, coming to its different types. There are two types of DBMS, namely relational database management system and non-relational database management system. A relational database management system is somewhere where the data is stored in the relations or table. Example, MySQL. A non-relational database management system is something where there is no concept of relations, tuples and attributes. Example, MongoDB. This is all about the DBMS. I hope these questions are helpful for you all. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.